Well, for many years I've been actually researching and very interested in the relationship between film, movies and TV, fictional film, um, and tourism and travel. So, and I actually wrote the first or published the first book in that, um, on that topic. Uh, so it's actually resulted in a lot of people being interested and taking up this research, not just through me, but it's become, was one of those very timely topics 10 years ago. And one of the things that they, that people are saying or other researchers are saying is that this is a very new field. Um, that, you know, tourism and film, people didn't do this until, or travel to places because of uh, uh, a movie or a TV until fairly recently. And I've always felt that's very wrong. So my current project, I've gone back to the beginning, the early days of the moving image, so right back to the beginning of film. And I've been looking at the relationship between those films and subsequent uh, 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 films and television series as, as that's developed over the past hundred plus years. And uh, to look at the connection between travel and tourism, which certainly uh, is very evident there in the very early days of filming. So, uh, so it's just trying to sort of prove the point that what we're looking at here is not something new and uh, neither is tourism as we all know. Well, the key outcome is to actually encourage people to understand and not just academics, not just researchers, but also the tourism industry itself, that this is not something new. It's not, the, and it's also not the great magic, uh, magic bullet that's going to solve everyone's problems as well in terms of uh, travel and tourism. And so I'm really hoping that they'll, uh, and I'm, I'm actually speaking with a lot of destination marketing organisations to help them to understand that this is something that has been there for a long time and consequently they can develop their own projects, profiles, marketing around not just the new things that are happening but also the old things. In terms of impact on society or community, it does come back to what I was really just saying about destination marketing organisations and of course just simply looking back at the early days of film does not have a direct uh, obvious link but through doing this work I've actually been asked to work with some uh, research uh, directors of the Hawaii Tourism Authority for example plus a few others to actually start to try and quantify what we're talking about here which is very hard to measure something particularly in economic terms that is uh, can have such a long life but we are going to uh, work together to try and do this and I think this will have a direct impact on, uh, on policy making and on decision making at those sort of levels and once again one of my main or one of my main uh, folk foci here is to, is to look at these smaller at smaller regional communities which is also why Hawaii is a good place to study it's quite large but it's an island community and has quite uh, specific needs as well